Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the Sarah Jane Adventures Series 3, Episode 3. As per usual, I do not look at the title because I just like to be as spoiler free as possible. I hope you're all doing really well. I am filming, filming for the first time in a while. So I did Las Vegas, which was unbelievable. And then I've just been in a bit of a slump. I'm going to blame the jet lag. I've never done a long haul flight before. So jet lag is a new experience for me. And um, your girl hasn't been sleeping at reasonable hours. So here I am. So there probably is going to be delays with this week's videos coming out. So I apologize. Just, I, just, I just need a few days, you know? Okay, so very excited. I love starting a new story in the Sarah Jane Adventures because it's just, I just don't know what I'm going to get. Um, I, because it's different from Doctor Who, I think I've said it before. It's not like we have historicals. I mean, really, we've had, you know, the one where Sarah Jane saw her parents, but it's, they're all earth-based. It's just what's coming to earth. Um, I have no idea what I'd like. We had the Jadoon last time. I'm very, very content, so. Let's go. Oh. Things that might I be love that she's got a Zac Efron poster. We've just been talking to Maria. <laughs> Never mind that. Wait till you see what I found. There were these strange lights around um, the BT Tower and they're saying it was lightning. Ronnie, I was thinking that might just be what they want us to think because Ronnie, there could have been a spaceship running. Or... It was lightning. Mr. Smith checked it out this morning. It really was just lightning. <laughs> That's cool. It really wasn't cool. Maria was this girl they knew before me who moved to America. And so that morning, it just felt like I wasn't one of the gang. Aww. And I was annoyed with Sarah So she Jane went and investigated like something herself. Then, I got an email. Sam! Sam! Sorry. It's so good to see you. What happened? You just been on Facebook and everything. Why didn't you come to visit me yet? That's Barry, so, isn't it? London's brilliant. I don't remember it being so dead here. Wow. Even the pleasure park's closed down. Over the past three months, four people have disappeared. They were homeless, so no one cared. This kid came down one night, broke in. He said he saw a demon in the haunted mine. A what? A red demon. He said it was like fire, you know? 
I would never go investigating without telling Sarah Jane. This is Dyke Chandra, investigating the Demon's Pleasure Park. It's deserted. Empty. And if Sam says there's a demon here, I'll find it. There's something moving. I think I twisted my ankle. Oh. Uh, well, you should, um... Is there somewhere I could sit down? Please, it really hurts. She's good. Here. Alone. Well, you know, it's just I. Okay, there might be something else here. In the haunted mine. No. Sorry? There's nothing here. I think you should go. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Just go. Don't look back. Please. Great time to ask if you begin. Great time to speak. Hello? <laughs> Damon, isn't that where Ronnie used to live? I thought I could trust her. Ronnie's been telling this boy about everything we do. Yeah, I don't know why she's been doing that. Mr. Smith, I need you. They were so worried. Why? You weren't a kid. Did you tell anyone where you were going tonight? So nobody knows where you are. I am the mad old woman of Bannerman Road. I could eat children for all you know. Mr. Smith, I think I need you. He stopped working years ago. He died. Your ankle seems to have gone better quickly. Are you an alien? I've met them before. I'm not scared of you. Oh, sweetheart. You wouldn't understand. You should just go. These people, you're keeping them prisoner. It's not like that. They're happy. Prepare for What are you doing? They came from in there. Johnny. Like, I admire her commitment, but I would leave. It's not what you think. She's not a bad girl. Hello? I'm Ronnie. She just wants to play. Especially your dad. You hide behind jokes and laughter, but it's there deep down. You should be happy. She sounds like I am I think happy. it's Eleanor Tomlinson. You're amazing. Oh, you're not gonna take a little lady's hand. I might fall if you don't. It's alright, I've got my mobile phone, so I can call the ambulance if it goes. Zach Okay, stop it now. <laughs> So many were exterminated. My parents put me in a ship and sent me out into space. I can evacuate. I was so young. I can see into your mind. Can so can that boy. Like. The ones on the right. They're my friends. What have you done to them? They were lonely. Sad. Well, there are kids here, kids who you could be friends with. You don't have to be alone. I'm not alone. No. Why would anybody come here? I mean, we're shut down. What about the zombies out there? They're just messing about. They didn't seem to be having much fun to me. Just stupid. Boy, that's rather rude, young man. Another man, eh? She's thick. And stupid. That's a horrible thing to say about your friend. True though. Well, I thought she seemed all. Gotcha. She 
safe. You've got to believe me. Eve. What are you doing? I told you. I'm sensitive to time. I can see your past. Sometimes you feel left out. I would not want to see my future. Do it. I just had to skip through the next time bit to see the credits. It is Greg Sulkin and it is Eleanor Tomlinson. Tomlinson? I think so. Um, yeah, pretty impressed with myself that I knew who they were. Okay, so I think I said last time how I'd quite like an episode where they're all just together. No one gets pulled away from anyone. That's not happened. I understand it's kind of the basis of storytelling. Um, I assume things will change with Rani, something will change so that that then changes her future back to what it should have been. I like the concept of seeing Rani, what, oh, what's it called? The Mad Woman in the Attic? I, I like the concept of seeing Rani like this because she's such a put together character, I think, for such a young age kind of seeing her make mistakes is really important and knowing that she has spoken to Sam about Sarah Jane like I just think that's a really silly move yeah it's enjoyable they're where they are based is definitely Barry um 100% I know Barry Island when I see it so that's super cool uh yeah I really I'm enjoying it. I like this concept. I really liked the look of, what was her name? Hang on, what was her name? Eve, she's called Eve. Yeah, I just, I liked the red and the hair. I have no idea where it's going to go, but I just think the fact that it's set in a, in a deserted fairground just makes it that little bit scarier. And I knew, I knew Sam was involved pretty much straight away. He was just very suspicious. Just to what extent, I don't know. But yeah, I really enjoyed that. Really, it's just that's such an interesting concept of starting. Like when it came up saying 2059, I just thought, oh, I've just spoken about how all the stories are like present day Earth. And now we've got a little bit of, a little bit of time travel. So yeah super interested to see what happens in part two thank you so much for joining me and i will see you very soon